Bluffton University football dropped its season opener to Ohio Wesleyan last Saturday. Now the Beavers gear up for their first road contest of the season at Baldwin-Wallace. Matt Finkel has more on the Beavers as they get ready to travel to Berea. First year head coach Danny Doro isn't concerned about the loss. He knows that if his team focuses on what they need to do to succeed, the wins will follow. It's all about us. It's you know not about the opponent. If we take care of who we are and our responsibilities, we'll be a pretty good football team. At times, we did. We took care of ourselves, and you know we did some great things offensively and defensively and special teams. And at times, we didn't. We didn't do that at all. We didn't take care of who we are, and uh, that's kind of those mistakes came back to, to bite us in the end. Despite the loss, there were plenty of positives for the Beavers to build upon. First thing we worked, we worked as a team in the second half, so we got better with that. Um, and we're just going to keep building from there on. We know we have and what we can do from here on out. We ran the ball really well. Defense was stopping him in the second half a little bit. We shot ourselves in the foot, everything. I mean, we didn't hit all cylinders like we wanted to, but uh, this week we are definitely uh, looking forward to. We've uh, been working really hard, so hopefully positive things happen in week two. The ground game was explosive for Bluffton. Eric Fox ran for a career-high 221 yards on 26 carries and scored two touchdowns. After one week of play, he leads the nation in rushing yards for NCAA Division III. I know that, you know, obviously everybody's going to know who he is now. Uh, there's no question about that. Um, you know, he's a tough, he's hard-nosed. You know, if we had 130 of them with his heart, you know, we'd be a pretty good football team. So, you know, hopefully he keeps t continuing that and, uh, you know, and keeps... Uh, Keep surprising people. I'll uh, just keep running hard. Uh, keep motivating my offensive linemen. I mean, they did, a, they did a really good job week one. I mean, if I mean, if I'm hoping for a, a repeat of last week, that'd be great. But I mean, it's all about the winning. That's all that really matters to me. The Beavers were stuck practicing indoors due to some bad weather, but that didn't lessen productivity this week. A little bit hotter, but and we're still getting work done. What I like about working inside is that uh, we work more like the fundamentals, stuff like that. Uh, make sure that we're aligned correctly. And I think we were doing a really good job today. I mean, we looked a little bit better than yesterday. So I mean, that's like a one positive thing we could say about working inside. To get Coach Doral that first W this week, the Beavers hope to shore up their unforced errors. Just overall, it's just a mental game for us right now. You know, physically, we got guys that can do things. There's no question about it. It's can we handle, you know, the, the mental grind and adjustments that teams are going to throw at us. If we can do that, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be okay. No mental mistakes, make sure we hit everything, make sure that the quarterbacks make the right reads, uh, running backs make the right holes, Ly uh, linemen, they adjust to the ball, everything perfectly. On the defense side, we're going to communicate better, we're going to rally to the ball more as a team. In Bluffton, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.